Welcome, folks! One and all to Let's Play Goblins 3, a game made in 1993 by Cocktail Vision. I thought I'd follow up Goblins 2 with Goblins 3 right away. And let me tell you, I'm looking forward to this. This game was exceptionally difficult for me to track down until I found out about the website in which I purchased it from, goodoldgames.com. You should all check it out if you're looking to play this game. Good old games make um, XP and Windows Vista, I think, or was it 7? Compatible versions of um, old games. Tweak them so that their settings are perfect. Now, Goblins 3, I'm playing on the floppy disk here, it's really difficult for me to track down. I have a copy, which I finally managed to find, but the uh, silly little thing won't play the music properly, and it still won't, even on the... Uh, compatible mode from goodoldgames.com. So I'm playing the floppy disk version, much like I did with the piece with Goblins 2. This is our main character here, Blount, and the password protection has been bypassed. So, this is Goblins 3. You'll notice the first change immediately. We have just one goblin, Blount. That's right. Goblins 1 had 3 goblins, Goblins 2 had 2, and in Goblins 1, th in Goblins 3, you just have Blount. Blount is, however, the most awesome of them. Also, screen scroll. And because of the way that I have this, I have this windowed while I'm recording it, I can scroll to the, re to the left easily, right easily, sorry, but not the left. Left's a bit more difficult. But we can do it. Now, I hope you all want to know the plot, because we missed the uh, opening cutscene because of the fact that we're not playing the CD version. So I will summarize. We, if we click the Goblin News, are Blount, your faithful reporter, and I am starting the fabulous trip to the foreign country of Follander of Foliander, sorry. I promise I will bring back an interview of Queen Xena and King Vod, who are enemies. Goblant. Yes, Blount is an idiot. I should warn you this right now. He's a bit of a fool. And basically, you're in a flying ship, but you'll notice the clouds seem to be drifting upwards. That is because our flying ship, if you can see the holes, has been hit by rocks. Rocks have been falling from the sky, like that one just there. And everyone else has abandoned ship, except me, because I'm a lazy bugger and I fell asleep. So, I'm the only one left on the ship. And as you can see, in various goblin fashion, there are a number of items and the like that will help me in recovering and surviving. I want it all the way to the left right now. And that rat, he doesn't want to die. He has a parachute. I do not, but there's one right there. We start with an item in our inventory. It's a coin. The only coin we'll have in the whole game. I think it's heads. Oh yeah, I rock. Let's go this way, shall we? I must leave the ship with the barrel that is at the stern. Yes, Blount breaks the fourth wall quite a bit. And he has told us what we have to do. There is a barrel there, and we must escape on it. I don't believe him. There's a parachute, but... Also, I seem to have glitched Blount out. I'll give him a hand with that. There is a parachute here. Why don't we just take this? Sounds like a good idea. An excellent idea! Oh. It's okay, Blount. We'll get you a... Oh my god! No, Blount! No! Well, he's dead, folks. So... I hate you, Blount. I hate you so much. <sighs> right, there are a few items you can grab, like this golf club. Don't ask me why there's a golf club on a flying ship. And don't ask me why they have a golf ball on a flying ship either. Yeah, you can't do anything with it by itself, but with the golf club we can. Let's play some golf. I will never see the ball again. Oh, smack is on the head. No ball, no ball, no ball, no ball, no ball. Yeah, Blown is a complainer at heart. There is a loop, and we can do precisely naff all with it right now. That door will lead us to here, and vice versa. There's a screw. 
It's a hook for the ropes. A screw is holding it. Well, we have something that can undo a screw. A coin! We actually retain quite a lot of items in this game, and many items are used in multiple scenes. We'll take this hook, though. The hook is not retained after this scene. And if you, uh, use a item anywhere, you usually do something silly with it. Like that. And here's the hook. He doesn't do anything really cool with the hook. Now, we need a few more items before we can do anything in this level. The first one's over here. In this box. He's found a bag of pepper. And let's search it again. And he's found a plunger. Let's search it a third time. Ow! He's found a mousetrap. He won't find anything else in there, folks. He'll only find a mousetrap. And here's a flagstone. You see that hand? That hand will propel us up to there to that tooth. But we can't do that by ourselves. Because we're just one person. Let's try using the hook on this loop, shall we? We got it worked! Now, the hook by itself won't, however, do anything. But there's a weight here that might. Pull it up, and there's an umbrella. You need help! You do, Plant, but unfortunately, we don't have anyone to help you. Sorry. Let's try this rope. Will this rope help? Why is there a bell up there? What the? Okay, Blount. I don't want to know what's up there. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Now, you may be wondering, what do we do now? Well, the answer is over here. Can you see it yet? There's a knot here. We'll undo it. Didn't do anything. Oh, it did! That is a parrot! In a bottle. That was hanging up the top of the ship. Let's go talk to the parrot. Considering Goblin's logic, it'll have to be able to speak Goblin. Ah, his name is Chump, and he's impossible. Well, can he give us a hand? I uh, don't know. Well, we gotta get him out of that pot. So let's try our various items. No, he won't let us pour pepper over him. What about a plunger on his head? Nope. A coin? Tails. Ah, oh, I'm awesome at that. Well, the golf ball gave us a hint as to how to get jump out. You see that pot? Not anymore! That didn't really help us, though, because now Chump is stuck in a hole in the, in the floor. Well, we can talk to him, I guess. Hey, Chump, how's it going? He offers the help if I can get him out of there. Oh, that's handy. Well, let's try our various items, shall we? How about the golf club? On Chump. No, not on Blount. On Chump. Oh! <laughs> Never actually tried that before. Look, do it again. He'll miss. <laughs> oh dear. Pepper? Oh, it still won't let me pour the pepper over his head. Well, when we come back, folks, we will continue to play Goblins 2. Until then, folks. Until then. Goblins 2? Ugh, Goblins 3. What am I saying? Goblins 2 on the brain, I swear. Until then, folks. Until then.